Hello and welcome to ERPWebTutor.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a workday pattern in Oracle Fusion HCM. Now, let's first see the navigation. Uh, under Setup and Maintenance, you need to go to Manage Work Workday Patterns. And then when you click on that, you will come to this page where you can search for existing patterns and you can create your pattern as well. So let's see how to create a pattern. By clicking on the plus, you will see three options. You can create a time workday pattern, a duration workday pattern, and an elapsed workday pattern. Now in this example, we are showing you how to create the elapsed workday pattern. And this is the most commonly used pattern that you will define in the application. So click on that. And then you need to give a name. Now this pattern that I'm creating is going to be the normal uh, eight hour a day for Monday through Friday or five consecutive days. Okay, so let's put it this way. It is eight hour a day and five consecutive days. And we are naming it as 88888 and then 00, zero indicating that these are the non-working days. Okay, you can put any description. It is optional. The length in days. This is for a week, so we're going to put seven. And then we need to define the pattern details. Click on plus and then specify the start date. So since we said that this is for consecutive days, I'm going to put the start date as one and the end date as five. So the system will know that the first day is a working day and then the next five days are working days. And then the next two days are non-working days. One of the prerequisites for this is that you need to define the shift prior to creating the pattern. So I have already defined an eight hour shift. I'm going to select that. And once that is done, you have basically created your pattern. Now one question that might arise that do you need to create separate patterns if your schedule span you know something starts from a monday through friday another schedule starts from tuesday through saturday will you be able to use the same pattern the answer is yes the reason i mentioned that this is five consecutive weeks what you need to do is when you create your schedule you need to choose the start date okay so let's see how that is done the task for creating a schedule is called manage work schedule or work schedules. And I'm just going to show you how we can use the same pattern in multiple schedules, as long as they are eight hour working days and five consecutive days. Okay. I need to click on create and I'm just giving a test name. And the type is elapsed. So that is important. I need to sel select the elapsed type in order to get the elapsed pattern. And here, let's say 621. Okay. So that happens to be a Wednesday. So now if my start date is 621 and let's say I put uh, some effective end date as 27. Okay. Now what the system will do if I select my pattern that I have created. If this is the pattern that I'm using, what the system will do, the system will start from Wednesday. So in this example, the working days would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So you can see that you can use this pattern to build the schedule. Now, if this schedule is usually for a Monday through Friday, all I need to do is select my starting date as the Monday and then the system will know that this pattern is going to repeat starting from Monday, okay, every seven days. Similarly, if your work schedule starts from a Tuesday, then you can select the start date as Tuesday and you can use the same pattern. So you can see that just by defining one pattern, you can define schedules as long as as they are consecutive, they follow the same pattern. It can uh, start from any day of the week. As long as they follow the same pattern, you can use the pattern 
to define the schedule. So that's something we thought that would be useful and you can use this uh, idea in your next project. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post it on the blog and we will be happy to reply. Thank you.